Hi Pre-K, Miss Michelle here. So I was taking some time today to think about some of your favorite things to do when we were at Alphabet Academy. And the first thing that came to my mind was treasures. Our classroom loves to collect treasures. And something that's really special about finding a treasure, particularly one that is just outside and free to you, without having to go buy a treasure, what I find really special is that it really could be whatever makes that person happy is their treasure. So one treasure might be different to another person. And I think that's one of the most important things that you can learn from our pre-K children is that a treasure could come from anywhere and it's a treasure if it makes you happy. Today I went outside and just searched in my backyard for treasures, things that made me happy. And I'm gonna share them with you. Once I'm done sharing them with you, we're going to sort them by color in this egg carton. All right, so the first thing I found, I'm just gonna give you a close look. All right, the first thing I found were these yellow flowers. These are, I have many forsythia bushes in my backyard. So I had plenty of these. So we have forsythia flowers. Then I found this flower head that was just laying on the ground and I thought it was so beautiful and it made me happy so I collected it. Then I found this interesting little piece of bark and it has these beautiful different shades of green growing on it. I found one of my favorites is acorn caps. I just find them to be so cute and they always make me think of a little hat. And then I found this dried up pine needles and I loved this shade of the color. I'm not sure if you can see it well, but it's this beautiful brownish orangish color. I found a dandelion petal and I, the, I love the lines and the color. That's why I picked it. I also found this beautiful white shiny rock. I found this, it's just a piece of paper that I'm not sure what it came off of, but it was so shiny and it caught my eye. So I had to pick it up. Looks like it came from some type of packaging. And then I found this green bottle cap that has an elephant on it. And that's actually my favorite animal. So I definitely had to pick that up. And then these little green leaves with the beautiful white on the outside of the green. And I think that, oh, and then some rosemary um, petals because I just love how rosemary smells. All right, so now looking at all these colors, the first color that comes to me, that pops out to me is yellow. So I'm going to make the first row all the yellow things that I found. So I'm going to put it inside the little egg carton here. Now to save time, I'm, only, I'm not going to do all of them. There, so now you see my first pile of yellow. And I don't think I have anything else yellow. All right, my next color will be green. So the green things, what I found the green leaf, the green dandelion petal. I'm gonna have to gently get it to fit inside of here. I'm gonna twist it inside. Um, the green rosemary petals, I'm gonna put in there. And the green bottle cap, we cannot forget that. And I think that's all for green. So, so far we have yellow and green. Next we're gonna do brown. So I'm gonna collect all things that are brown. So the acorn caps will definitely go in here. And 
I think I'm going to have this in my brown category only because there's more brown on it than green. So I'm going to put that in my brown category. And I also forgot about this little stick. I'm going to put that. All right. Next, I'm going to make the, what's really interesting is that these two pieces of nature are the same color. I'm going to call it orangish brownish, and that's going to be the next color category that I sort. And then I'm going to make a shiny category. This rock is really shiny. And then this really interesting piece of shiny paper I found, I'm going to put it there, the last one. Um, and that's it. Those are all the things that I found. And then here they are collected. So I still have one more spot that I can go and fill up when I have, when I get outside again. And then this can be your special treasure box where you can collect all of your treasures and write your name here because this belongs to you and you make the choice of who gets to look at it, who doesn't. It's your special treasure box. I'm going to write my name right on top. M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Now everyone knows that this is my special treasure box. You can also paint the box, draw, make more drawings on it, whatever makes you feel happy and, and uh, you find beautiful. All right, Free Kid, that's all for now. I will see you later, and I hope to see maybe you make a treasure box at home and send us some photos so I can get more ideas from you. And think about how you're going to sort your materials. Are you going to sort them by color, by shape? Let me know.